Good morning students. Today we are going to learn a new unit. The name of the unit is personality development. What do you observe in the above picture? Yes, we observe the famous personalities in the picture. Do you think disability is the main reason for failure? No. Disability is not the main reason for failure because the persons in this image have succeeded in their life despite of their disabilities. Do you recognize the above persons in the image? Yes, they are Sudha Chandran, Stephen Hawking, Helen Keller. Today we are going to learn a new lesson which is related to a person who has succeeded in his life despite of his disabilities. The name of the lesson is Attitude is Altitude. Imagine having no arms to stretch in the morning to help you scratch that itch, to allow you to wrap your arms around your loved ones. Imagine having no legs to kick pebbles down the street. To walk or run, to bicycle or skateboard or get you from point A to point B. Then imagine both at once which is what Nick Vigic has faced his whole life. Have you heard something like this before? Nick Vigic was born with no arms and legs but he doesn't let the details stop him. The brave 26 year old who is mainly a torso plays football and golf, swims and surfs despite having no limbs. Here in our lesson we are going to learn about a person. His name is Nick Vigic and his age is 26 years old. He was born with no arms and legs but he didn't stop himself. He is mainly a torso. Means torso means the main pa part of the body. Means which include which does not include legs, hands, and head. Despite of having no limbs, also he plays football and golf, swims and surfs despite having no limbs. Means. Uh, without having hands and legs also, he play football, golf, swim and surf. Surf means it is a water sport. Can we imagine ourselves without having legs or hands and survive in our daily works? No, because it is very much difficult for us to survive like that but this person Nick Vigic he succeeded his life with uh, respite of his disabilities. Nick has a small foot on his left hip which helps him balance and enables him to kick. He uses his one foot to type write with a pen and pick things up between his toes. So Nick has a small foot on his left hip. It helps him to balance and also it helps him to kick. Means as he plays football, he uses his small foot to kick the ball. He uses his one foot for typing, write, the, write with a pen and pick things between his toes means he also uses his small foot for typing writing and also to pick things between his toes i call it my chicken drumstick joked nick who was born in melbourne australia but now lives in los angeles i'd be lost without it nick say uh, say that his small foot is his chicken drumstick and he was born in Melbourne which is located in Australia 
but now he lives in los angeles and he say that without his small food he would have been lost he is very modest but he gets marriage proposals from women all the time said nick's friend and publicist stevie appel from los angeles he would love to get married and start a family but he is waiting for the right girl to come along so one of the friend of nick say that he get nick get lot of marriage proposals but he is waiting for a right person to come into his life so the name of the uh, friend of nick vijik is stevy apple so he he says us that nick gets a lot of marriage proposals water sports aren't nick's only thing he also plays golf with a club tucked under his chin and is a huge fan of the english premier league nick not only sp- plays water sports but also he plays golf with a club tucked under the chin under his chin so not only water sports but he also plays other sports like golf football also his parents decided not to send him to a special school a decision he said was very hard for him but which may be which may have been the best decision they could have made for him so nick's parents decided not to send nick to a special school to hear that it was very hard for him but later he he realized that it was the best de- decision that his parents had made for him when nick was born his father was so shocked that he left the hospital room to vomit his distraught mother couldn't bring herself to hold him until he was 4 months old so when nick was born uh, by seeing nick his father was shocked and he left the hospital room to vomit means by seeing nick he got shocked and he vomited his distraught mother couldn't bring herself to hold him until he was 4 months old so distraught means very sad or upset means as nick was born without legs and limbs uh his mother got disappointed so it uh, it made her sad so she was unable to hold nick in her arms until he was 4 months old his disability came without any medical explanation a rare occurrence called phocomalia and nick and his parents spent many years asking why this cruel trick would ha- happen to them my mother was a nurse and she did everything right during pregnancy but she still blamed herself he said so uh, the this rare occurrence called phocomalia means it is a disease uh, who are born without means proper growth of limbs or who don't have completely limbs means hands and legs so their parents used to uh spend years asking that why they why this has happened to nick means they used to tell to themselves that uh, why we are cursed so his mother she was a nurse and she used uh, and she took all the care during pregnancy but still she blamed herself that it was her 
negligence it was so hard for them but right from the start they did their best to make me independent it was so hard for his parents but they made them but they made vic uh, nick to be independent my dad put me in the water at 18 months and gave the courage to learn how to swim so uh, his parents tried nick to be independent and his father put him in the water at the age of 18 months and gave him means he he encouraged nick to swim i also got really into football and skateboarding i totally loved the english premier league he not only uh, swim but he also got into football and skateboarding and he says that he live english premier league okay children uh, from the above lesson i have given you some hard words they are attitude altitude nick vegic skateboard torso despite melbourne los angeles distraught focomelia stevie apple premier league so you practice these words learn the spellings of these words and you write them in your notes and learn the spellings properly and the home assignment for you is write the hard words in your notes and find the meanings for them you have to write these hard words in your notes which i have which i have given you and you have to find the meanings for these words and you have to write them in your notes okay students we will continue the remaining lesson in the next class thank you have a good day